Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I have another golf ball review for you here today. Today I have the Inesis 900 Tour golf ball. So this is a brand I had never heard of, but it has been heavily requested by a few of my followers and uh, it was something I definitely wanted to jump on. Now, I will say before I even get started, um, I always love to mention this. I've done it a few times, but a while back I sent out uh, some emails to a bunch of different companies asking for just one to three golf balls for you know for free i'd pay for the shipping basically just trying to get some stuff i could review and out of all those companies inesis is the only one to respond to me and to be honest with you there was even some hiccups on their end but they actually went the extra mile to even make sure that i got them so honestly their customer service was just fantastic and all always I have a general rule of thumb. If a customer service is, is that fantastic and they care that much about it, usually they care that much about their product as well. And I've not had that fail me yet. Uh, Cut was the same way. Um, and I love their golf balls, I love their products. So I gotta give them a shout out for that. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that this golf ball is really like available in Indonesia. And I, like I said, I think it's more of a global network. Um, I know that in the States, I haven't really heard about it that much, but apparently they do make a, a line of golf balls. They make clubs. Uh, they make all kinds of different sporting goods and stuff. Um, maybe, maybe I just haven't heard of them yet through the grapevine. Maybe they're up and coming. Uh, but from what I understand overseas, they are a lot more popular. So I'm excited to try it out. I'm, ex I'm excited to uh, see what it has to offer. Uh, getting into the basics before we even get into the design of the golf ball, I do want to say it's only $29.99 for a dozen, which is a great price point for a urethane golf ball, a three-piece. Um, love seeing that price point. And also, they're on their website. It's only $35 for free shipping, which is one of the lowest I've seen so far. Um, so the $29.99, unfortunately, with one dozen would not get you free shipping. But if you buy two dozen or even if you just throw something, a ball marker or something $5 on there, you'll get the free shipping. So I give them credit for that. Most of what I've seen is like, like a hundred dollars or I think Vice still has their just flat shipping rate, you know, depending on no matter how many you buy, whatever. I think Cut's still like a hundred dollars. I think Encore is like 75. Most of the time you've got to buy multiple dozen to even come close to the free shipping. This one's just $35. I love that. I love seeing, I prefer free shipping, but when you have a price as low as $29.99, I get it. So 35 is a great compromise for the middle. So I do, as I said before, it is a three piece urethane golf ball, which is awesome. Um, basically they kind of targeted about a 15 handicap or lower. It kind of reminds me based on the marketing of being a value, like a value tour ball, something like your Strix on Q star or your, uh, tour response, something like that. Um, that's what it reminds me of based on the marketing. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of promises there of added distance, green side control, but first let's get into how the golf ball looks. So let's just start with the Inesis logo. It's very basic. Um, you know, the, the, I mean, it doesn't really get more, more basic than that. Um, and honestly, I, I'd like to see Inesis, you know, really maybe come up with a logo, maybe something cool to really distinguish themselves. Maybe they're waiting to do that until they break into the market more. But as of now, it's a pretty average design. It's not bad by any means, but it's definitely when I play with it, people are kind of like, they kind of give me a second look like, well, what is that? But if I come along the side here and I do look at the lineup, uh, the golf alignment, I like that. That's a very good alignment tool. It's, it's, it's not trying to do anything too fancy, but I've been testing the Bridgestone balls lately. And I gotta be honest with you, there's, their alignment tools are just so terrible with the letters and the, the line and the, and the arrows. It's really nice just to see kind of like the, the, what Vice is doing and Cut is doing. It's just that nice thick line. It's a lot easier to see when I'm up above it and it's a lot easier to line the golf ball up. So I love that. It says Tour 900 on it. So really, it looks pretty good. The dimples seem really good. It does feel, it doesn't feel like maybe, you know, it doesn't feel super premium, but it does feel premium enough. Like I said, a value Tour ball. So it definitely feels like it would stick a green. You can feel that coating on there. Um, honestly, it just, uh, overall, I would say it's a pretty decent design. Really, the only knock I would say is just, you know, the Anesis maybe coming up with a logo, changing the font, doing something to, to spice that up. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the chipping and putting and let's see how we did there. All right, so out on the chipping and putting green with the Anesis. Uh, 900 tour. So the first thing I notice about it is it has a very soft feel around the greens 100%. Uh, it just it has the sponge effect for sure. When you just barely hit it, it really springs off the club really well. Uh, it does not take a lot. I actually had a lot of issues hitting it past the hole at first. I had to kind of dial my swing back a little bit just because of how far the ball travels. 
getting the green side spin. It does check up. It reminds me of your value uh, three-piece tour ball. Honestly, it checks up a little bit and then kind of releases. It does have a very consistent straight release. There isn't much issue there as far as going right or left. Um, you have to really cut the ball hard in order to get it to go left or right, which is good. It has an ample amount of forgiveness there, um, but it isn't going to tug. It's not going to tug like, you know, your, your, your Bridgestone Tor B RXS or something like that. It doesn't have that type of, of stopping power on a dime, but it does check up really well, as you can see there. Um, off the putter, it really feels well. Also, there's a slight firm press for feedback, which definitely lets you know when you mishit it, uh, but it's also very soft, squishy, and spongy. Again, doesn't take much. I had a lot of issues over putting at first because I'm just not used to that. I'm used to having to swing a little harder because the ball just doesn't spring off like I have a bouncy ball effect. This one definitely has that. So that's good for guys who are still not great putters, still trying to learn because you don't have to come back as far. So honestly, it had, so the expectation I had on the green, it matched really well. I expected it to be forgiving. I expected it to be soft. I expected it to kind of have a checkup and a release and it did all those things really well. And for this price range of golf ball, that's exactly what you want to see. All right, so there's the numbers from that. Uh, let's hope we can kind of keep that going into these numbers here. Let's look at the nine iron first, okay? So the nine iron, we're looking at a 93.1 mile an hour ball speed. That is the best I have tested so far. Um, actually, next to, next to the E6, the E6 beat it out by 0.1. So very high number there, that's very good. Um, moving on to the distance wise, we're looking at uh, 129.6, one of the best I've ever tested. That's amazing, 123.6. That is fantastic. Those numbers are awesome, and I can attest to those numbers on the course. So um, every once in a while, if I'm intrigued by a golf ball, I do play with it on the course quite a bit, and I have played a couple weeks with this golf ball. Those numbers are real. It took me a moment because every time I would hit an approach shot on the green, the first few holes, I would fly the green. Um, I, not something I'm used to. Most of the time, I'm used to the numbers like, with the nine iron, you know, I'm used to the 124. Well, this one's 129, so X extra five yards. If, if the flag's toward the back, you'll fly it, and I have been. So um, those numbers, I, I would say 100% are true. I believe that. Uh, and then launch angle 20.8, which is just slightly high, but again, when you're getting the added distance um, and, and the amount of spin you get, 20.8 seems like it's right in the sweet zone. So honestly, those nine iron results um, those are fantastic. I, I really like those a lot. Uh, everything's toward the top pretty much, either the best or second best. So that's a great start, especially for a value ball like this that's priced as well as it is. All right, so let's get into the seven iron now. So starting with the spin, 6,879. That's a pretty high number actually. Uh, that's uh, the only one I've had to test really higher than that is the Bridgestone uh, the XS model, the one that was meant for spin, it did, you know, just a little bit more, but honestly, that's a very high spin number. Uh, 106.3 on the ball mile per hour speed. That's a very good number. 159.4 on the total distance, which is the second best I've tested so far. And 147.8 on the carry, which again, that's the second best I've tested so far. Um, those, those are just fantastic numbers. This ball really jumps off the club. It has a phenomenal feel to it. And every once in a while, you'll get those balls that remind me kind of, they have the bouncy ball effect a little bit. You hit them with an iron and there's not a drag. Like with a lot of the Bridgestone balls, it almost feels like there's a delay. I hit it and it kind of just delays a second and it shoots off, you know? And then there's balls like this. Uh, also the soft response reminded me of that where when you hit it, the true feel, the title's true feel was another ball that reminded me of it where when you hit it, it feels like a bouncy ball. It just springs off the club. And that's exactly how this feels. It has a very soft feel to it. I was so impressed with the feel, honestly. Um, and, and these numbers really show that. It just sprung off the golf club effortlessly. Um, and especially with the seven iron, that's usually where I try to dial in and test my forgiveness a lot, just because you know seven iron, you can hit it off the toe a little bit, things like that. The forgiveness was off the charts. Um, honestly, it just responded so well. And they claim it's a 90 compression golf ball, but I, I don't know how accurate that is. All I know is that usually with a 90, I don't see this level of forgiveness. Um, I was just so pleasantly surprised at how forgiving it was, uh, because for those numbers to be as high as they are, as much as I would love to tell you, oh no, I just hit it perfectly every time and I hit the center every time and I just, I flushed everything. I don't, you know? So for those numbers to be as high as they are, um, isn't just because I flushed them, it's because the ball forgives you on miss hits, which is phenomenal. Hopefully we can continue that. Uh, launch angle 18.1, which was um, 
uh, like mid high, like, like just kind of in that a little high range. But again, the ball seems to launch a little higher. It has a lot of spin, but you don't lose any distance. And anytime you can get that, that is a beautiful combination. I don't see that a lot from golf balls. So, so far really good. Okay, so getting into the five hybrid, uh, spin wise, 4,392. So that is a little on the higher side, which is still good. Everything seems to be consistent so far. Uh, getting into the ball mile per hour speed, we're looking at 118.5, and that is pretty close to the highest I have ever tested. That is phenomenal. That's the highest I got out of any of the Bridgestone balls I've been recently testing. Uh, that is phenomenal. 196.7. Dang. And then 182.2 on the carry with a 15.4 launch. The launch is a little higher than what I'm used to, but when you're getting those kind of numbers, that's perfect. That extra launch is definitely helping those numbers out. When you combine, when you combine a 15.4 launch with my hybrid with that much ball speed, you're gonna get a ton of distance. Honestly, it really encourages me to swing my hybrid with this ball a little slower. That way I can get just the distance I need, but get a little more accuracy, which is awesome. One of the things I can't stand with my hybrid is feeling like I have to really swing harder and really get a good hit on it because hybrids are tough. I mean, hybrids are easy to hit, but if you don't hit them right and you don't hit them, you hit them off the toe or, you know, it's kind of like a three wood. If you don't hit it right, it just doesn't end up going where you want it to. Uh, so being able to swing a little slower and smoother, but get the distance I want is fantastic. These numbers are just really jumping out at me here. And then moving on, we're gonna go to uh, the driver now. Okay, so 3,144 RPMs is a little higher than I would like with the driver. That's, that seems to be, um, I mean, that's the highest I've ever tested so far. I actually, I, I think that might be the highest ever. Uh, I'd have to go back and look, but uh, that's definitely high. Um, and then the question is though, did it affect the distance? And we are looking at 136.9 on the ball speed, which, Again, is just phenomenal. One of the best I've ever tested. And then you're looking at 229.4 for distance and then, or carry, and then 249.8 for total distance. Again, two of the highest numbers I've ever seen. The numbers are just phenomenal. I, I you know, I thought maybe for a second with the spin on the driver, maybe it was going to show some weakness, but after looking at the distance, it's still top of what I've ever seen. Um, the feel, again, continues to be really consistent. It was phenomenal off the driver, very forgiving on miss hits. Um, it was just so impressive. Um, those, numbers are, those numbers are just phenomenal. I can't really say much more about them. I mean, across the board, everything was one of the best I've ever tested. The feel was phenomenal. Um, I've tested this golf ball on the course for a couple weeks. I've had massive success with it. It stops on a dime. Uh, that's impressive. That's really impressive. And again, that's why I bring a point. If you're new to my reviews or if you've seen them for a while, that's why I bring a point to the value of the golf ball. Bridgestone, the, I recently, my last one was the, uh, the Tor BRXS, which was a great golf ball. It was really good. I enjoyed it, but it's $49.99 a dozen. Whereas this right here, you're looking at $29.99. I would use this golf ball over any of the Bridgestones I've tested so far any day of the week, and it's $20. It's almost half the price, and that's why I, I harp on golf balls so much for their price because when you can get something like this that performs really well, why would I spend the extra money, you know? So let's get into the durability. Maybe that's where they cut corners. You know, they have to cut corners somewhere, so, you know, for $29.99 golf ball, maybe it's the durability. It's not. This is a 5 out of 5. I, I hit this ball 80 times. Um, I even did some chipping and putting around the green with it. It looks brand spanking new. I mean, you see a couple of cuts right there. You can see a little bit of red on the logo there from where it hit into my, uh, my net. Some of the colorant rubbed off. But, but feeling this golf ball all the way around, like feeling it, there's no scratches or tears or anything. It's still going to hold a green 100%. Durability does not get much better than this. This this is right up there with any tour ball. Uh, that is just super, super impressive for being a golf ball that costs as much as it does. So coming into this review, my big question was gonna be, can this golf ball just hang with the other ones? That's really what it was gonna be about because again, you kinda have to order them online. As far as I know, I don't know of any stores in America you can get them in. Um, I, I haven't seen them anywhere, I hadn't heard of it. So I had just assumed at this point that you know, this was going to have to really blow me away to be something that, you know, you'd have to go online and specifically order from online. It did that. It blew me away. 
I gotta give a shout out to all my subscribers who recommended me to try this ball uh, because they were nice enough to give me a dozen of them. I've been playing them on the course and I will play them until they are gone. And when they are gone, I can promise you I, they will probably get a reorder from me. It was just fantastic. Everything about the golf, the golf ball just impressed me. And granted, I went into it with just average expectations, so there is that element to it. Um, but I didn't expect it to have superior feel. I didn't expect it to have massive amounts of spin. I didn't expect it to, you know, be the, the, the hottest ball coming off the club that I had tested so far. I didn't expect any of those things. So when I say, who is this golf ball for? Well, it's really for anyone. I think anyone who is 15 handicap or lower, like they say, would benefit from it. Um, just because I think that if you're someone who's still new to the game, I don't think you need this much spin. So if you're a high handicapper and you're just starting out, I don't think you need this much spin. I think you need something that's just forgiving and, and has a little more distance with less spin. But as far as if you're getting to the point where you're shooting breaking 90, you know, if you're breaking 90 and below and you do want a golf ball that's going to bite a little and you can get some consistency out of, I don't see anybody this golf ball would not be for. It just performed absolutely amazing. Um, and honestly, you know, this is kind of what my channel's about is find, finding value, bang for the buck. And here it is right here. That's fantastic. Guys, as always, keep watching to keep saving, keep learning. I appreciate it. Uh, we got more reviews coming up. Uh, we still got the Bridgestone line to do. And then I've even got the, price, the Vice Pro Zero coming up here in, in a week or so. So look out for that. Thanks as always. We're now over 900 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, please do just because we're almost to a thousand, you know, that thousand would mean so much to me, but you know, I usually don't ask for it. I usually just put it in a sticker up here, but if we could get to a thousand, that'd be awesome. As always guys, you are the best till next time.